for joining At Home with Vicki Bensinger today on Periscope. And I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash ravioli. Now, I've already actually prepared the butternut squash and the filling, but I'm going to tell you how to do that and then we'll, I'll show you how to actually make them. This is so easy. Um, but before we start, if you like what you're seeing or if you think somebody else would be interested in this, please sw swipe up on Android and swipe right on your iOS dev device to share it on Twitter. And um, if you like it, tap on your screen and hearts will appear and that lets me know. And then don't forget also in the bottom of the screen, which for some reason I'm not seeing that, um, you can um, post your comments and ask me questions and I'd be happy to answer them. So thank you again for joining me. I'm Vicki Bensinger and I teach in-home culinary classes as well as at different venues here in the state of Missouri. Um, I also teach online classes, so if you would ever like, you know, if you're ever interested, let me know. You can find me at VickiBensinger.com. And today I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash ravioli. I love butternut squash, and in fact, my family loves it. We have it probably once a week throughout the entire year. And basically, the way you will make this ravioli is simply take your butternut squash, and I don't have one with me because I've already made it and I've got it sitting right here. Um, but you're gonna turn your oven on to 425, and you're gonna cut the squash straight down the center, uh, cut the top and the bottom off, cut it down the center, scoop out the insides, and then lay it face uh, meat side down in the oven on foil for 30 minutes to roast. Then take it out, you're gonna let it cool, and once it's cool, you'll scoop it out, put it in a, in a bowl, and then you're gonna add uh, goat cheese, and you're gonna add some sauteed uh, shallots. You can use onions if you like. You can also put garlic in it. I didn't put garlic in mine because my husband's not a fan of it. And, um, and then once you get all that together, we're going to be scooping it into uh, wontons. And the wontons are just so simple to do. Um, you, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So anyway, so right now, that's what I've done. I've already got my butternut squash. Um, now you can find this recipe on my website at vickibensinger.com. Um, just scroll down to the second post um, and you'll find how to make it with all the um, exact ingredients and um, and measurements. So let me show you how we're gonna make this. I'm gonna go ahead and move my screen down. Does anybody have any questions at this point? I just don't see my question thing here. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If for some reason I don't see it, I will catch your questions later and I will shoot you back an email or a post on Twitter. Um, Again, feel free to swipe up on Android, swipe right on I, your iOS device um, to share this, and please give me some hearts if you like what you're seeing. So, first thing, let's, let's get down here so you can see. I've got my butternut squash ravioli, uh, butternut squash that I have cooked. I've, to this I have added goat cheese, and shallots. I did about a quarter of a cup of shallots. And who is that? <laughs> and um, thank you. Um, and then I've also got some wontons here. Now I already made some of these the other day and I've got some left over. So I have wontons and I'm using one of these little cookie scoopers because it makes just the perfect size to put inside my um, ravioli or on top of my wontons. And then I've also got just a small little cup here of water. Now you can use a brush if you like, but I'm going to be using my fingers. And let me do that. You're not going to believe how simple these are, and let me tell you, they are to die for. So I've got my little wonton, and these are, I got these wontons at Whole Foods. Um, you can find them at any grocery store, any brand will work. And for each ravioli, you're going to need a top and a bottom. And you want to make sure you keep this covered. 
because they do dry out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take a scoop of my ravioli, of my butternut squash filling, and simply put it on there. I, when I tell you this is so easy, oops, you can't see that, can you? Hold on. I just scooped it right on there. I'll do another one, don't worry. And then I'm just going to take my finger, and again, you can do what, you know, use a brush if you like. But I'm just going to run my finger across here. I find this is easier, then I don't end up with water all over the place. Just like that. Let me get a little paper towel. And then I'm going to lay my other wonton right on top. And I'm going to try and get my edges together so they match, but they're not going to match completely because you've got this filled with um, your butternut squash filling. And then simply take the tines of a fork, you can see that, and I'm just pressing along the edges. And this is going to keep it from popping open. like that. And we're going to do this all the way around. Okay, and I'm just going to set this aside on this container right here and do another one. So, and right now I've got some water in a pot that's, um, that was boiling. I just turned it down to a simmer so that when I'm done with this will be ready to put them in and you can see how long they cook, which is all of a matter of seconds. So I went ahead and I scooped some more out and I'm just gonna set it right on top. And I love this scoop. It's probably, well, this one's made by OXO. Um, there, you can find them anywhere. Um, I know that uh, like Bed Bath & Beyond carries them, but they make them in all, you know, different types. Um, and different sizes. I believe this is like a one and a half teaspoon or whatever. It's a small, it's one of the smaller scoops. So I did that. I'm going to go ahead and take another one and put it right on top. Kind of spread this out. Maybe flatten it just a little bit so that we can get it to try and fit. You see that one fit pretty well. They're not they're not all going to fit because you've got that filling. And do this. Now, I made this on my, on my site. It'll have the directions for cooking the butternut squash and how much um, of everything to add, the goat cheese, the shallots. And then um, I also have a recipe on there. I make this with a, um, a brown butter sauce. You can make it with any type of sauce you like. And in fact, once you know how to make these, you're gonna, you can fill it with whatever you like. So let's do one more, and then we're going to go ahead and put these in our water. Okay? All right. So we're going to scoop some more. And I have to tell you, this filling is so good. You could just serve it alone on Thanksgiving instead of mashed potatoes, just have your butternut squash, um, like a butternut squash mash. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. You have no idea. I mean, if you like butternut squash, and I do. Okay, so we're gonna do this last one and just put it on and spread it out. Again, if you have questions and I'm not seeing them, I will catch them on catch. <laughs> K-A-T-C-H. It keeps all of my uh, comments up there so that in case I miss it while I'm sitting here looking down at my ravioli, um, that I can catch your questions later and I will tweet you out the message. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, so I have made three of them. I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to my stove. And let's see if I can carry everything at the same time without having it fall. So you're going to be walking along with me, guys. So let's move this over. 
and let's see. Let me try. Hold on just one second. Let me get you adjusted. I Okay. So we want to be able to see the water. And there is my water. Just want to make sure you guys actually get a good live view of this so you can see just how simple it is. I have not enough room here. Hold on a minute. Hold on guys, don't leave me. Okay. There's my water. And get it up to boiling. So this is boiling just a second ago. So you want it, you actually don't want it to boil want it to have a nice simmer. But I'm going to turn it up here just a bit. And what we're going to do is simply put in our ravioli. Our ravioli have had a little bit of time to dry out um, while we've been doing this, while we've been making the others. And all we need to do is simply put these in. Again, you don't want the water to be at a rapid boil. You just want it to be at a nice simmer because if it's boiling, then these, let me see if I can turn this one light out and see, oops, okay. Maybe I, if I turn this one light out, it might not have as much of a glare. I keep turning off the wrong thing. Okay. Um, so if you put it in boiling water, my strap here is gonna end up catching on fire then it's gonna, it, it stands the chance of pulling apart what you just put together. So starting to simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and you're gonna see when they float to the top, which doesn't take much time at all, that they're done, which takes, you know, maybe three minutes. And that's pretty much it. So let's watch these. Now, while we're waiting on these, does anyone have any questions about how to make these? And again, make sure you go to my website, vickybensinger.com, where you will see the complete recipe for this, plus, um, plus how to make a brown butter sauce, if you want that. You can use... Um, a roasted red pepper sauce. I like the brown butter sauce because with that it gives it, um, when the butter starts to brown, it kind of tastes like, uh, it gives it a nutty flavor and it's just perfect. And I don't even put that much on, just a slight drizzle and it's absolutely perfect. So can you see this? Get you up here to see this even more. Can you see how one of these is starting? I'm going to move my camera around here. It's not helping. Okay, so let's just leave the camera where it was. This one over here is starting to come up. I can't see that. How can I not get that to direct properly? Okay, so do you see how they're starting to float up? Okay, so what I'm going to do, you see there, do you see them floating up? Hi, Amy Ruth. How are you? So this has started to float up, and I'm just simply going to pick this up and drain it a little bit. I'm just setting it back on this mat, my green mat that I worked with. See how that floated up? That didn't take any time at all, and this is done. And I'm going to put it on a plate in just a second so you can see. I set it back on my green mat. And if you're just joining me, I demonstrated how to make butternut squash ravioli. The complete recipe is on my website, vickybensinger.com. If you like what you see, please go ahead and tap on your screen if you're on an iOS device. And I can see some hearts. And I'm going to take this back here with my plate and hold on one second. Thank you for the hearts. 
Thank you for the hearts. Okay. So, I've got just a little platter here, just so you can see. So right now those are a little bit damp. But I'm just simply going to pick these up and set them right here on a plate. Just like that. I'm using my hands, of course. If you have company, you want to use something else. And there you have it. And then all you would need to do is put whatever kind of sauce you like on it. So thank you so much for stopping by At Home with Vicki Bensinger on Periscope today. If you like what you see, again, please swipe up on Android. Android swipe right on your iOS device to, sh to share it with other, um, with your Twitter friends. And um, this will be posted for 24 hours. Again, for the complete recipe, please go to my website, vickybensinger.com. And until next time, happy cooking. Bye. And if I can get this to turn off, always is that's always challenging. Bye, guys. Have a great day.